have a lifetime of long playing albums. Record covers cover things, but they also uncover. When I look at a record album cover, I see a cover of my life. Late 1950s, I am born. My small white family purchases these deep, black, rich voices to fill our small home. Love is a gentle thing? I guess we'll find out. When you're my age, the Beatles bounce in and out of your life. Sometimes, covering, sometimes their songs covered by other people, but I preferred the birds, those clanging guitars, and those gorgeous covers of songs by people I didn't even think I liked, like Bob Dylan. I joined the Church of Joni early from those high soprano folk down to the baritone jazz. Both sides now. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, ELP, brain salad surgery. Who else but an adolescent, a acne scarred adolescent, could like music like this or album cover art like this? The pretentiousness, the synthesizer, so clear. Oh, pretentious Roxy music. Yeah, but that was British glam, and it had Brian Ferry, who my boyfriend at the time, David, wanted to be. So I would listen to this album while he was hustling his ass in a downtown hotel. For your pleasure. Uh-uh. Eno left the band to become this cool, conceptualist genius, the collaborator anyone could dream of. Fripp, Ferry, uh, Bowie, Byrne. I didn't want to be him so much as I wanted to have a brain like him. This David, unlike boyfriend David, stuck with me in my peregrinations up and down the West Coast. And his aching version of Wild as the Wind made me want to imitate it in acting class, which I did badly. So my acting teacher says, Jeff, honey, if you're going to listen to that, listen to the real voice, Miss Nina Simone, which I do, yeah. And her sound, she could make anything pop, even the Bee Gees or Dylan. This is what I thought I would look like when I moved to New York. Cool, confrontational, gaunt, but kind of loving and beautiful. Black and white with tinted color and a photograph by Robert Maplethorpe. Jesus, that leads right to Patty. And I was led right to Patty, but she had departed for Detroit. I had a pocket full of poems I was sure would make fabulous songs if only she would come back to New York to cover them. She didn't. <laughs> this hero works with another hero, Brian Eno in Berlin, singing about standing by the wall, the wall that will soon fall. But 10 years later, I would get there, but they would have long since departed, leaving vinyl traces I can't pick up. This is what New York sounds like, this sort of macho queer. It's like street legal. If I can do this, so I buy a leather jacket, I attempt to ride a motorcycle, neither quite fit me. <laughs> The opposite side of this is Lori, that cool pre-computer vocoder voice. We do loads of bad performance art pieces trying to imitate it, but then seemingly immune to love, Lori meets and marries and buries Lou. Decades begin and end with bullets. The bullet that goes through John Lennon also passes through Yoko. I had loved her screechy early stuff, but these lamentations, they need no explanation. The future is a killer. A psycho killer? David Byrne and band give me amazing permission as an artist. Stop making sense. So I do, and I haven't made any sense since. <laughs> but they also say, go out and grab things. Look, feel, stay hungry. Oh, that's what I'm hungry for, a naked male chest, yes. Oh, but it's really more a semi-naked male voice. Is Morrissey really the queer voice, longing and laughing, receiving and giving? Finally, I have a friend who makes a record album, and uh, Mimi Gazy, and Michael Stipe of R.E.M. is singing backup vo vocals on it and producing it, and Brian Eno is gonna produce their next album. I am getting so close to genius. It's 2012. I make my last album purchase. Steven Recker and People Get Ready, local boy, studied with me, uh, toured with David Byrne, and he thanks me on the cover, on the back in small type. But hey, I'm finally on a record album. <laughs> My turntable slows down. My favorite music is distorted. Cover art reduces to fit to the size of our phone. It's 
accessible but not visible. I take refuge between the covers of my long playing album. <laughs>